Okay, so now let's look at two additional functional groups. We're going to look at alcohols and amines. So on the left-hand side, side of the slide, we have pentane. And then over on the right, we have pentanol. So this we've seen pentane now many times. It's typical um, alkane hydrocarbon just to the right of 3,000, just below 3,000 wave numbers. We have this nice strong peak. That those are our sp3 ch's now these peaks to the right of the spectrum mean something but they're all just past 1500 and we're not going to worry about those so let's ignore all of that <clears throat> this is our main peak of interest sp3 ch's when we go to pentanol what we've added is this oh and so what we still see is just to the right of 3000 we still have lots of sp3 ch's which we should see, but now there's this new big broad peak and it's uh, well past 3,000. So typically alcohols, this OH group shows up about around 3,300 uh, wave numbers. These are, uh, it doesn't have to be exactly 3,300 and you can see this is 33, 36, but it, it's in that 3,300 region. These tend to be broad, meaning they're wide peaks. That gets into the, the fact that this OH group is undergoing hydrogen bonding interactions, which are variable within the sample. As it's variable, the peak gets fatter and wider. And these are also intense peaks. Now, what do I mean by intense? I mean, there's, this has low transmittance. So, our transmittance is pretty low, and I don't know if that's around 10% transmittance. Low transmittance, high absorbance. This, so when I refer to something as an intense peak, I mean it is a real big dip all uh, 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 as we go along our y-axis. Okay, so that's alcohols. Let's go and see amines. Amines are going to be similar because instead of talking about an OH, we're talking about an NH, and those are related or somewhat related functional groups. So let's turn the page. Here is pentane again. We'll always start with this molecule. Now here is one pentanamine. And that is that structure. And down here is N-methyl-1-butanamine. That's four. We've got a CH3. There's our methyl group. We have one NH. Notice that uh, Pentanamine has two NHs. Each of those NHs is a little bit different and they show up a little bit differently. Note they show up in about the same place as an OH, around 3300, but they're not nearly as intense. That gets into this, um, this idea in IR where we tend to look at vibrations of bonds and bonds that are polarized tend to show up more strongly. An OH bond is more polarized than NH because OH, that, that bond has a bigger electronegativity difference between the atoms. O, oxygen to hydrogen versus nitrogen to hydrogen. And so NHs tend to be a little lower intensity. What do I mean by intensity? Again, it's how, how a dramatic is that dip. The alcohol peak we saw look more like that, and now the NHs are, are much less intense peaks. But you can often count the number of peaks down here to, to identify how many groups do I have. I have two NHs, we have two peaks. This molecule in the bottom left has one NH, and we only see one peak. Doesn't always work, but oftentimes does. Note that the other functional groups are still preserved. We still have lots of sp3 CHs. In all three of these molecules, they are just beyond, I've marked right over it, sorry about that, just beyond 3,000, or just short of 3,000 wave numbers, it's exactly where they ought to be. You might say, hey, what's going on down here? Look, we have stuff. Yes, we do, but remember that is below 1,500 wave numbers, and we're not going to try to interpret that part of the spectrum. So only stuff that has, has a value greater than 1,500 wave numbers will we concern ourselves with in this class. So there are two more functional groups, common functional groups that we will see, amines and alcohols.